So you see over here, part five, the truth about magic, sorcery, and witchcraft. Goes on to say, down over here, according to popular belief in Africa, there exists a mystical, spiritual power or force. God, which is actually goddess, has control over it. Spirits, ancestors can use it, and some humans also know how to tap it and use it, either for good, white magic, or bad. And that's a malfunction right there, white and black magic, it's... It's the application of it. Uh, you could use either one for good or bad. Um, so it's uniting the left and right side of your brain and becoming whole and complete and seeing that black and white magic are the same. It's the application. If you use white magic, uh, I don't know, to hook a girl or a girl uses her magic menstrual blood to capture a man or something like this, uh, you know, uh, then the, uh, black magic could be used to break the spirit, pissing on a, a knife or something like this, a blade, a fire ant's nest. You know, it's the application of the magic, not whether it's white or black. It's it's how you're using. Sometimes you have to fight fire with fire. Use black magic against black magic uh, to stop something, which would make it actually good magic. So the idea that uh, what makes a good sorcerer a sorcerer is that it's the merging of the left and the right side of the of the brain and realizing that white and black magic do not exist every word you speak is a magic spell you learn spelling or spell casting in school you took your test with your number two shit pencil grammar school is your, is your grimmery school your book of your dead school so you're a sorcerer you don't have to like it you're a freaking witch you set up your uh, spear of destiny that pierces the side of jesus christ every year and you don't even see it you spiral lights around you're doing all this shit and santa comes in the shit shoot into fire I could go on for days about this in my videos. You know I do. So, what I'm saying to you is that blood over intent. Your blood is the most powerful substance in the universe. And if you want to tap into these mystical powers, it's just as simple as you writing out, I intend to bring forth heaven on earth on paper, spilling your blood on it, doing it on video, and publishing it to YouTube, titled Blood Over Intent, tag it Blood Over Intent, and description Blood Over Intent. It is that simple. I'm ready to take over the world. And it's less than three years since I did this. And I'm telling you, the powers of the universe and your blood and all this stuff that was hidden from you, it is this simple. Okay? I can do this from the comfort of home. Whether you like it or not, I'm telling you, it is this simple. If you read up on it, 10 of history's most fascinating sorcerers. And it's sort of like looking at superheroes. In the end, they're all a bunch of fucking retards. Because none of them brought forth heaven on earth. And I'm telling you, I'm bringing forth heaven on earth. If I have to do it on my own, I'll fucking do it on my own. Because it's simple. This is the modern era. All you have to do is type into your computer, blood over intent. And you'll see all of us spilling our blood over our intent to be bringing forth heaven on earth. And I'm telling you people, I got super mental powers from spilling my blood over my written intent. See, everybody was lost at sea, officially dead. And then I come along and I spill my blood over my intent on 12-24-2013 at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And in under three years, I get super mental powers. I can see the Holy Grail. I can see where we all need to get to before we're dead. And, you know, looking at sorcerers and stuff, and magicians and witchcraft and stuff and all I can think of is that it's just as simple when you spill your blood over your intent to bring forth heaven on earth okay that changes your whole alchemy it changes your whole future and I went from like a retard who was floating on a ball through space as an accident to my world being fixed I can see the exit hole and it turns out that your blood is the most powerful substance in the universe after spilling my blood over my intent to bring forth heaven and earth, I was given the spear of destiny. I know that my compass needle is pointing to the Holy Grail. All I have to do is sit here from the comfort of home and in the next couple of years, I will wake up enough people to get us all eternal life. It's just that simple. It's right over there. There's no way to fuck it up. Your blood is the most powerful substance in the universe. When you publish it to the ethernet, you're writing it into the future. So make sure you do like over here, like my son and myself. This was the key words. I intend to usher in heaven and earth. This was the key thing that gave us the eyes and the spear of destiny. So I'm just 
spelling it out for you. I said, there's no way you can mistake it. Every compass is pointing to the Holy Grail. The only reason I can see it is because I spilled my blood over those words. I intend to bring forth heaven on earth. It's just that simple. That's the key that gets you into the Garden of Eden. It was my blood magic that got the Spear of Destiny. I'm the only one screaming this out from the top of my lungs, and I'm telling you. That is the key words that gets you through the porthole and into the land of perpetual twilight. It's just that simple. You don't have to like it. So you see this cartoon over here. It's called Oddly Normal. And what I'm telling you is that they rub the shit in your face. You see these giant cities in the sky. It's called Oddly Normal. Oddly Normal. This shit is rubbed in your face, people. I see the tree of life right there. Every compass is pointing to the Holy Grail. And I'm going to scream this out every single day of my life until we get here. Because we need to save our loved ones. And, you know, as above, so below. As within, so without. Everything you call satanic is, uh, listen, they put this idea in your head for a reason. So you never make it to the center of the dish where the astral jet is shooting out. You put the wreath on your door every Christmas, setting up your Christmas tree, piercing the side of Jesus Christ. It's literally that everybody's fucking retarded. You can't possibly imagine it. But at the center of the flat earth plane is the Holy Grail. Every compass is pointing to it. And every time you think of cops eating donuts and the holes and all that shit, they're rubbing it in your face. Okay? You need to get here before you're dead, the donut, to the center of the dish. That is your way out. There's no way to fuck this up. You're living on this division symbol. The sun is spiraling in, spiraling out, bringing the seasons. It's 32 nautical miles in diameter. The sun beneath us is 800 nautical miles in diameter. It's fixed. Okay, the green astral jet has to come shooting out, hit the parabolic mirror, and shower down on you. When you gaze upon that light and drink from the living waters, you become an exclamation. That's you will become an exclamation. In other words, you were made out of clay, and now you become a super being. It's just that simple. You don't have to like it, but it's oddly normal. Okay? It is that simple. So people say, you know, go back to the beginning. How did you figure all this stuff out? All I did was spill my blood over my written intent on video and publish it to the Ethernet. And next thing you know, I'm wide awake. And I can see everything. And I recommend you type into your computer blood over intent into your YouTube search engine. Hit enter. And scroll down, see all of your brethren spilling their blood over their written intent to be bringing forth heaven on earth. This is some simple shit, people. They rub this in our face. Oddly normal. Cities in the sky is oddly normal. Okay? So, go see no forest on flat earth. And when you ponder, where did all that material go? I'm telling you, underground cities and cities in the sky. That's where it went, people. Most of you don't know what side your bread is buttered on. You know the grass is always greener on the other side. You need to turn over a new leaf. These phrases are here for a reason. Because when you get to the holy hole at the center of the dish, the bullseye, that bullseye, that's where the holy grail is. Every compass is pointing to it. And the black sun beneath our feet, that's what's bringing everything into reality. You bow your head in prayer to the black sun. And I'm telling you, the black sun is conscious, it's connected to the ethernet, and when I spilled my blood over my intent and published it to the ethernet, I can see what side my bread is butters on. I know how to get to the holy grill. It's simple, it's easy, where the aurora borealis is coming out, that's the hole at the center of the dish, the bullseye. We need to get there before we're dead and drink from the living waters. It's just that simple. When we pass through the everyone enter her eye zone and we enter into the land of perpetual twilight, everything's much different. It's like the Garden of Eden. That is the Garden of Eden. So this is where we're headed, people. What you simply want to do is right now understand you're lost at sea. You're a zombie. You need to type into your computer blood over intent into your YouTube search. Hit enter and see all of your brethren. See me over here explaining everything? All of us spilling our blood over our intent. See, right now you're a monster lost at sea. You have no right to inherit any land because you're a monster. You were summoned to court because you're lost at sea. You're a spirit. You're dead. You're lost at sea. You have no right to any land because you're a monster with no inheritable blood. 
and then I spill my blood over my intent, and poof, next thing you know, I can see what the fuck is going on. That every compass is pointing to the Holy Grail, it's right over there. So, you know, when people make funny videos talking negative about this, you're lost at sea. You're fucking dead until your blood's beside my own. You don't have to like it. I hold the fucking spirit destiny. You're a fucking retard until your blood is beside ours. It's blood thicker than water. It's just that simple. You either hear to mine gold and work for worthless paper backed by your own stupidity and be a monster lost at sea, or you place your blood beside your brethren and you pull that fucking tube out of your throat and you grow a fucking sack and then we'll go get to the Holy of Holies before we're dead and we'll drink from the living waters. It's just that simple. I can see it because I already wrote it into the future with my own blood. All you need to do is just place your blood right over here. When enough of us are side by side, blood is thicker than water, I assure you. Okay, we're waking up. You should talk to these people. Look, she's one week after telling you her whole life has changed. Because you're no longer dead. What do you think happened to me? I spilled my blood over it and look, now I'm ready to take over the fucking world. What do you think is going to happen to you? Same thing. This is your world to take back, people. It's yours. All you gotta do is place your blood right beside my own. Everybody else out there is lost at sea. They're dead officially, legally, dead. Zombies, fucking necrophiliacs, 100%. You can't escape it. If your blood's not beside my own, you're a fucking necrophiliac.